Hey guys, welcome back to Noob 404, the channel where you can find easy to follow tutorials for every kind of noob. In the past few videos, I showed you how you could exploit your PS4 using the Wi-Fi connection on your computer and that too without using the internet though. Apart from that, I also showed you how you could connect to the PS4 remote play with your Windows machine using just an Ethernet cable. And today's video is something related to that because today I'm going to show you how you could exploit your PS4 using just an Ethernet cable. As most of you know, there are multiple ways of hacking your PS4. You could use an ESP module, you could use a Raspberry Pi or a Windows machine or for that matter, multiple other ways to do that, even using a website to crack your PS4. And, and I was also able to find certain tutorials on hacking your PS4 just with an Ethernet cable and a Raspberry Pi. But what's different in this video is I'm gonna use a Windows machine and just the Ethernet cable to hack my PS4 and at the same time I won't be using any internet okay the basic requirements for this video are a Windows machine with an Ethernet port the PS4 itself and an Ethernet cable and obviously the exploit host file by Al Azif which I already previously used in uh, one of my videos where I showed you how you could hack your PS4 using the Wi-Fi connection without using the internet okay you could watch that video and download that same thing or you could always download it from the description below okay. See, I tried finding a way to exploit my PS4 with just an Ethernet cable because I thought that it was possible and after almost 24 hours of head scratching and stuff, I finally found it and I just wanted to share it with you guys and I hope that this would be useful for some of you guys at least and if you do find it useful, please leave a like below and so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial, shall we? First of all, I want you to go to the description and download the file there. If you already have Al Azif's PS4 exploit with you, you don't have to go through this step, just use that. In case you haven't, just go to the description and download it. So I already have the PS4 exploit host on my computer and I've just extracted it. As you can see, it's on my desktop. But before we go into that, we have a few more things to set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect my PS4 and my PC with an Ethernet cable. As you can see, I've already connected my PlayStation 4 with my PC with the Ethernet cable. And uh, this is the proof right here. Okay, so this is where things get interesting. So the first thing you'll have to do is go to your control panel. So I'm in my control panel and you're going to look for network and internet, click on it and then go to network and sharing center. And now, as you can see, it says it's identifying the network. Anyways, it says Ethernet. Make sure that you're clicking on Ethernet and if you already have your Wi-Fi on, please do disable it. As you can see, my Wi-Fi is switched off and now go and click on the Ethernet. And uh, the next thing what you're going to do is go to properties and then when you're in, you'll see multiple options. Make sure you click on Internet Protocol version 4 in the brackets TCP was, uh, slash IPv4. Click on it and then go to properties. Now, before we type the IP address and subnet mask and the other things which are required here, first of all, go to your search and search for CMD and press enter. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to type IPCONFIG, right? So now you have to look for the Ethernet adapter, which says for me, it says Ethernet adapter, Ethernet. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for this particular address, the IPv4 address. Okay. Then just highlight it right here and copy it by pressing control and C together and go back to this window. And first of all, under the IP address, click paste by control V and as soon as you click on the subnet mask, it'll give you a custom thing 255.255.0.0 and then under default gateway, type this 192.168.1.1 Alright, now go to your preferred DNS server and type the same thing again that is 192.168.1.1 one that's it now press on ok and it's gonna ask something just uh, press yes close this close it again now you could close this command prompt too and obviously this one too so we are done setting our IP address and stuff for this exploit to work now let's go to the actual exploit part so now I'm gonna go into the ps4 exploit host folder and just click on ps4 exploit host now the first thing you're going to note is your ip your ethernet adapters ip happens to be the http ip and dns ip here if that's the case you're halfway there okay. so once this is set up here make sure that you make a copy of this particular ip address because we're going to type it on a ps4 too so 
Now let's move on to the PS4. All right. I'm on my PS4 right now. Let's continue with the tutorial. All right. Before we go into it, I'm just gonna go to my user's guide and user's guide again to show you that I haven't already cached any exploits here. As you can see, it says not, it's not loading properly, so it's obvious that I'm not cheating in any way here. And I'm also gonna show you my browser so that it's clear that there's nothing like hidden here. All right, as you can see, I don't have any frequently used pages and I don't have any browsing history, so that's done now with that out of the way let's move on to the tutorial shall we so the first thing you're going to do is go to your settings go to your network and press connect on to the internet so that the tick comes on next go to set up internet connection and choose use a lan cable and uh, choose custom here and under the ip address settings go to manual and uh, press on x the cross and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the ip address so the IP address is going to be 192.168.1.1 and I'm going to press on done for the subnet mask I'm going to type 255.255.0.0 so as you remember we had already set this up on a windows machine for the ip address make sure that you don't type your actual ip address that it already got type exactly the same as i have typed in 192.168.1.1 and for the default gateway again it's going to be 192.168.1.1 all right now for the primary dns we're going to type our IP address, the computer Ethernet's IP address, that is 169.254.167.229. Alright, and for the secondary address too, I'm going to type the same thing again, but alright, and then I'm going to press done here. So a few words of caution here, the IP address and the default gateway will remain the same for all of you because we have already set that as custom and for the subnet mask you'll have to check your computer as I already told you, you have to make sure that you have copied all the information necessary from the computer that is your windows machine as in when you type it and for the primary DNS and secondary DNS this is going to change from system to system person to person so make sure that you have got already got yours as we had already seen in the windows machine alright so once that's out of the way just press on next and then under MTU settings automatic proxy server do not use and then press on test internet connection all right as you can see the obtain IP address and internet connection both show successful in some cases you will see that internet connection says failed that is because you messed up somewhere so go back and do it again and make sure that you have typed the IP addresses and stuff properly all right you need to get to this part where it says I, I obtain IP address and internet connection both are successful okay now press back go to your users guide user's guide again and as you can see my exploit page is here and I'm gonna go back and I only have 5.05 .05 right now you could uh, download this exact exploit menu directly from the description so that you don't have to set it up and stuff all right because it already contains some uh, few exploits that I usually use and uh, could be useful to you as well all right I'm gonna go here and press cache all it says applications are cached successfully. I'm just gonna to make sure that it works fine. I'm gonna go into 5.05 and cache again, and that's done too. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna switch my internet connection off. All right, go to network and then connect to the internet is off right now. And I'm gonna try going to the user's guide again to see if it works. All right. Yeah, so that, that does work and I'm gonna try running the PS4 REN module shall we? So It's loading and it says all done have fun by the way If you're interested in running PS4 remote play on your Windows machine with just an Ethernet cable connecting to your PS4 So that you don't have to use an HDMI cable at all do check out my tutorial I've linked it to the description and you also might be seeing it on the top right end of the screen right now So that's it. We are done. I'm so guys that was a quick tutorial on jailbreaking or exploiting your PS4 with just an Ethernet cable and a Windows machine. I hope you liked it and if you did like my video please don't forget to click on that like button and do subscribe to my channel and 
please press that bell button too because the next time some awesome content comes up you'll be the first to know all right i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye